seafood lovers, welcome on another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fish Tales. Today we're going to make a delicious recipe. It's a bit of work, but at the end it's really worth doing it. Uh, we're going to make a lasagna with tuna, veggies and cheese. Start with the shallot, peel it and chop it fine. Then garlic, chop it fine. To give the lasagna a bit of a kick, I'm using half a chili. Good, okay, so this is the base for the sauce. I've got a saucepan right here. Put a splash of olive oil in it. Nice olive oil. I'm going to add the shallot, the garlic, and the chili. Give it a good stir. Okay, so I've got some roasted paprika. So I will add four peppers, that's it. <laughs> so I give this one minute. Okay, now we'll add the, well, the, the tinned tomatoes. Adding like around 250 grams, that's around two thirds of a can. It's a little bit of red wine vinegar. I'm going to add like a few basil leaves, chop it roughly, add a tater sauce. Bit of pepper. Mm. It smells amazing, guys. It's a great start of this delicious lasagna. A bit of salt to season it. Okay, so now we're going to blend the sauce. It's time for taste. I left the sauce 10 minutes. Brilliant. Now we're going to build the rest of the sauce. We're going to finely chop an onion. Another splash of olive oil. I've got my onion in, tomatoes. Cut them in quarters, take out the seeds, and I cut these tomatoes in small cubes. Okay, so I add the tomato into the pan, and now I will add the paprika sauce. And now we will add some great extra flavors, oregano. I've got some fresh thyme. Okay, I'm using just the leaves. The thyme leaves and the leaves of two oregano stalks. Okay, we give this five minutes that the uh, flavors get real, really well incorporated. And meanwhile, I'm going to um, open a can of tuna. Okay. Make sure if you use tuna out of a can that you drain it well. It's delicious tuna. And guys, it's so important you make a choice for the right tuna that's from a sustainable source, MSC certified and caught by Paul and Line. And pole and line is, is, is one man, is one pole, is one hook, it's one fish, caught one by one. And also in that way we support local economies, mostly in developing countries, which is really important. Okay, give it a little. Mmm, mmm, it's really nice. I have a bit of cooked tomato concentrate, like maybe one teaspoon extra. And then I'm going to add the tuna, the hero. Season, a bit of pepper. some salt. Okay, eggplant now. Take off the end parts. I'm going to thinly slice it. Courgette. Then some mozzarella. Nice and fresh. Cut it in slices. So guys, it's now time to build up this beautiful lasagna. Okay, so, the oven tray. Okay. Good spoon of the sauce. Okay, so we have a first layer of the sauce of around half a centimeter. Then I'm going to have the lasagna sheets on top of it. Then one more layer of the sauce on top of the sheets. And then we're going to have the mozzarella. Half of the mozzarella. Okay, then half of the courgette. Then I've got some aubergine, half of the aubergine. So I repeat this process until it's complete. And we top it off with some grated cheese. This will give it golden brown color and great salty taste to the dish, to the lasagna. Okay, look how beautiful, guys. I give this 45 minutes in the oven, 180 degrees. Okay hey guys, time to eat. Thank you 
give it a taste. Chinna lasagna. Mmm, it's lovely. As you can taste all these different layers, so we have the pasta and then the big chunky pieces of tuna and, and, and the veggies of course and then that smooth sauce, that bit sweetness of the pepper, the paprika in it. And then we have the saltiness of the cheese on top. It's a really amazing dish. And the great advantage is you can make it in advance. You can make it in advance for tonight for your family or for tomorrow for a big party going on. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, please leave them down in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday.